To get started, you have to have a PC. If you don't have a PC, then you can't do any of the PTS stuff. Just a heads up, this is only for the PTS. I explained that in the title and the description, so hopefully you guys read that before clicking on this video. If you want to locate the PTS servers, go to the top right. You can see a little drop down. You can see North America, Europe, and PTS. You want to click on PTS to go onto the PTS. This is with the old launcher with the new one. You do the same thing. There's a cog wheel. You click on it, and you want to locate PTS, and then you can launch the game from there. To transfer your main account to the PTS, you want to use this command here. I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But you just do slash export account. Wait about 5 to 10 minutes. It should transfer everything over. Sometimes there's going to be an error, especially if you do this a bunch. You'll have to wait like 30 minutes to an hour, maybe even longer. Kind of just depends. But usually you can just get it done within 5 to 10 minutes. To begin this process, go onto the live servers, do what I just said, export your account. And once you're on the PTS, you want to get a hold of a vault club. Now I have a couple in here. This one isn't mine, but this one is mine. What you want to do is from the hub, come back over here and get yourself a builder's crafting bench. Now, if you already have this, that's good. If you don't, then it's going to take a bit of shapestone and formicite. As long as you're not super brand new to the game, you should have these resources. Next, you want to go outside of the little hub area. You'll find a spot to get your cornerstone and whatever you just crafted, you want to put in here. So the uh, builder's crafting bench, come over here to club world and you can build a vault club. It's going to be the first one for 5,000 flux. If you're in the future and they change this, then I'm sorry, but right now it is 5,000 flux. One quick thing to note, everything will transfer over from the live servers apart from clubs. And for whatever reason, whenever you go on the PTS, you won't have a primary. So every time you launch it, you have to enable a primary club if you want one, at least if you don't really have to if you don't want one. But as far as clubs go, whatever club you keep on the PTS, it will stay on the PTS. So right now I have these clubs over here. If I exported my account on the live server, and go onto my PTS, these clubs will still be there. The only difference is my primary club is just gonna disappear and I just have to redo that basically. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get onto the process. So you get the vault club. All we do is click on it. We give this a name. So I'm just gonna do the good old classics here. If you know, you know, and I'm just gonna go over to that world because we have it now. And when you spawn in, everything here is gonna be yours. Since you're the president, you can invite other people. You can invite alt accounts if you really want to. And you can really speed up this duplication process if you have alts. But for now, I don't know. I don't have alts and I'm too lazy to make one for the PTS. So we have a club chest here. Get any item that you want. I don't know. You can literally duplicate anything. So anything that you have, if you really want to, you can make mega flux things with whatever resources you have here. Make sure you're doing this on the PTS, by the way. Uh, you can craft mega flux things on the PTS. Put them in here, however many you can. Go back to the live server now. So exit out of everything you're doing. Go back to your live server. Export that account from wherever it is. Maybe you want to get a couple more resources. Then when you come back to this PTS account, your clubs are all going to be there. Go back to your club chest and just put anything else that you want in there. Whatever you had before is going to be there and then you can add on top of that extra things that you wanted to put in there. Hopefully that makes sense. It's pretty self-explanatory. All you want to do is get everything from the live servers onto your PTS account, throw everything in the chest, and then just repeat the cycle. Export your account. I would show you an example, but it's going to take me like half an hour to do all that waiting process. I'm not about the PTS. I could care less. I, I just like to test things out here and there. If you want to show off like 80 Gondas, that, that's cool too. Or you can do Trove of Wonders. There's like so many things you can do, but that's how the duplication process works. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I will talk to you all later.